I want more. I want more of God. I want more of the Spirit of God. I want to see blind eyes open and deaf ears open able to hear. I want to see the lame walk and cancers dissolved. I want God. I want more of him. I want more of his presence. I want more of his love. I want the power of God. I want more. Well, the disciples, they knew something. They knew that that being baptized with the Holy Spirit meant to be continually filled with the Spirit of God, that it wasn't a one-time experience where they gathered in the upper room and the baptism came in power of the wind and the fire and the tongues, the cloven tongues and the unknown languages. They knew there was more. They knew that they had to continually walk with the Spirit of God, walk with Him, talk with Him, learn His ways, and continually ask for more. Ephesians 5.18 says this, Be not drunk with wine where is dissipation, but be filled, filled with the Spirit of God. God says to be filled, and that word speaks of being filled and filled and continually being filled, to be crammed full, to be overflowing, to have your nets full. God wants you to be full of the Spirit of God. In Acts, the fourth chapter, there's a story of Peter and John who raised up the lame man at the gate, beautiful. As he was preaching, people got saved. Well, the city was astir, and the Pharisees and the Sadducees brought Peter and John before them, and they began to threaten them and told them that they were not to speak again about Jesus Christ. Well, Peter says to them, whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you or to obey God, you be the judge, but we cannot stop preaching about what we have seen and heard. After they were released, they went back to the others and began to tell them of what had happened to them. And when they told them, they all began to pray together in one accord. And one of the things that they began to pray is this. And it says, and now, Lord, take note of their threats and grant that your bondservants may speak your word with all confidence, which is great boldness, while you extend your hand to heal, and signs and wonders and miracles take place through the name of the Holy Servant, Jesus. And when they had prayed that, the Bible says this, the place where they had gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the Word of God with great boldness. God wants us to be filled with His Spirit so we can take this gospel to others. Have a wonderful week, and know this, God Almighty loves you. He loves you. God bless you. Bye-bye.